So this is the first year that we've had started the marbled salamanders at Stone Zoo. Uh, we were really excited in late January when they arrived. Uh, we had nine salamanders this year and it was a great experience for the staff kind of watching them grow. Um, seeing how active they were, that kind of surprised us. We expected them to be hiding a lot. Um, and kind of how easy it was uh, to get them growing and then to, to watch them all morph and turn into salamanders. And then it's an awesome experience to come out here and release them. Zoo New England has been a partner for, um, for us in several different conservation projects for years. They're a fantastic partner. And with the marbled salamanders, it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, what we're doing with marbled salamanders is we're right now helping restore a population that disappeared probably 80 years ago, 70, 80 years ago from the Middlesex Fells. In fact, right behind me is the last known place that marble salamanders lived in the Middlesex Fells in the 1930s. And um, it's a small animal, but a beautiful animal, the rarest salamander in New England. And we're in this small way trying to help restore this rare species with some of the com more common New England salamanders that live in the same kind of environment, scientists have shown that if you remove the salamanders from an area of forest, there are more insects in the leaf litter. The insects and invertebrates then break down the leaves faster than they would if the salamanders were present. And what that means is that the carbon that's held in the leaf litter gets returned to the atmosphere faster. In other words, the forest, a forest with no salamanders, holds less carbon than a forest with salamanders. So salamanders actually have a significant role in our ecosystem in helping moderate uh, global climate change. I think it's important to show local conservation. I think that really kind of personalizes conservation for people that live in this area and that come to the zoo on a regular basis. Because you could teach people about conservation of rhinos and elephants and polar bears, but this is the marbled salamander. This is found in your own backyard and it's great people could come out in the woods and hopefully in a couple years find them.